I haven't gotten high in school very often, and anyone who has gotten high in school would know why. It always sounds like a good idea at first, but in practice, it can be so goddamn scary. Now, this story isn't just about me getting high, but instead, the whole squad was smoking in class. And under those circumstances in mind, you know shit had to have gone down, and it did. So it was the first day back to school from summer break, and it was the morning of that day before the classes had started. As the nature of the first day of school goes, I was pissed off. And so was my boy Roderick, the same guy from the mushroom story. We were pissed we had to be back in this place, but it also was sick to see everyone I didn't see over the summer. So we were greeting everyone in the grade, catching up in the hallways, when none other than the man himself, Kevin, comes through the doors, beelines straight to the two of us and whispers in our ears, bro, meet me in the handicapped stall real quick, I got something to tell you. Which may I add is an insane way to greet someone on the first day back from summer break, but we followed him into the bathroom to see what was up. As we walked in, Kevin is standing on the toilet like he is about to give a speech to us and says, guys, None of the three of us want to be here, wouldn't you guys agree? And we nodded our heads in agreement. Then why don't we go somewhere else? And this guy pulls out not just one, but three different wax pens and our mouths are agape. Keep in mind, I rarely smoked at this time. So to see not just one, but three wax pens that this dude had brought into the school was the craziest thing I had ever witnessed. I was like... No way we're smoking right here and right now. And Kevin said, not yet. See, I've been dreading the first day of school for a long time now. So I've thought up a way to make it a little more interesting. I want to play a game. We each carry a pen on us for the entirety of the day. Every time somebody says some dumb shit, you have to take a hit. And if you don't get caught all day, you get to keep the pen. But... If you get caught, you owe me $50. In one moment, I was going about my ordinary day in school, and in the next, I'm choosing which pill I'm gonna take, and you know I took the green pill, and so did Roderick. I won't lie, the speech had us getting hyped in this bathroom stall. If anyone was in the bathroom at the time, I feel like they probably would have gotten the wrong idea, but anyways, we had to plan our day. We all brought out our schedules to see which classes we shared. I shared Spanish with Roderick, math I was with both, English I was alone for, and study hall I had the two of them again. But the bell rang and me and Roderick headed over to Spanish and departed from Kevin. As we walked into the classroom, we agreed we wouldn't sit next to each other, so if one person came down, the other wouldn't come down with them. And it would be easier to stay undercover, so we both sat in the back corners of the class. The class started and the teachers were going over the syllabus when this kid raised his hand and asked, when we get our assignments, do you want our names in English or Spanish? Me and Roderick just stared at each other from across the class after that. We knew what we had to do. As soon as the teacher turned around to the whiteboard, we took a hit, but then she turned around and we just had to hold in the smoke until she turned around again. And once I did, I started coughing loud. I couldn't hold it in that long. So I crossed my arms and put my head down and no one thought anything of it, but it was close. The class went on and we got out of that one safe. Although those wax pens, if you've ever smoked them before, hit hard. So even though I only took one hit, I was already feeling it as we walked to math. We got to the class first, and as Kevin walked in, he looked so fucked up. I was like, bro, what happened to you? And all he replied with was, it was Liam, bro. And then just took a seat before I could respond. Lord have mercy on his soul. Let me tell you, math was a dreadful class to get through. Not because of the challenge. We didn't even have to smoke once during this period. It was just the munchies, bro. Lunch was the next period and I was fiending for that school lunch. The most entertaining thing that happened to that class was that I sat across from Kevin, staring him straight on, and he just kept nodding out of existence and coming back. This guy was on another planet and it was only 10 in the morning. Once lunch came, I spent like $20 on snacks, but they were all out of the vending machine. 
which was a process I did not have the patience for. Waiting for the food to come down just felt like an eternity. The squad linked up and I tried to get more information on what happened to Kevin during first period. Can you elaborate on what happened to you earlier, bro? Liam, bro, he like had to introduce himself and he said he likes kids. He didn't realize how bad that sounded, bro, he, but he really said it. And to be honest, me and Roderick, we just decided to take a hit right there after hearing that out of respect for what he had gone through. Once the bell rang, I started stressing because my next class was alone. I lost my supports and I had to face English class like a real stoic man. I sat down. I don't remember exactly what the question was, but I do know that some kid said something that I had to smoke to. So I had to take a hit. Then the guy next to me leans over and looks into my eyes and just nods. I was sitting next to the school stoner Bradley. Bradley saw this and asked, yo can i get one bro so respectfully i handed him the pen and with no remorse for his own life proceeded to blow it straight into the air and of course the teacher noticed and walked over i thought it was all over for me in this moment but he just ended up sending bradley to the office but the thing is that he still had my pen on him when he left this guy 200 iq outplayed me and purposefully got sent to the office so he could take the pen for himself i don't know if that was actually his plan but that's just what it seemed like to me once english ended i walked into study hall and this part was the hardest part of the challenge to overcome if you've had study hall before you know how silent the class is so i'm trying to tell these two how i got my pen stolen but i'm so hi i cannot control how loud i'm being and i just can't communicate what happens i guess they both deemed that to be smokable so they both took a hit and as they exhaled i couldn't help but just laugh at myself and i laughed loudly which alerted the teacher and got roderick and kevin caught but since i got my pen stolen i got away from it i didn't have anything on me they got sent to the front office and i had to wait out the next hour of this class in an excruciating silence just paranoid that somebody was gonna come after me but at the end of the day nothing happened of it so i technically won the challenge and got to keep the pen but since it got stolen i really just got nothing but i'm glad i won though because if i had lost i would have had to fork over 50 dollars and a new pen so i dodged a bullet there so while i didn't get anything at least i didn't lose